In this video, I'm going to show you two different ways you can creatively disable your WooCommerce product page in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so this video will be based on this particular article here, which I'll leave in the description below. And just to give you a preview of what we'll be achieving throughout this video is the first method we'll be using the quick view plugin, which is free. And this will basically eliminate the need for the customers to actually go ahead and view the product page. Okay, because everything will pop up in a light box and then they can make their selection and just go straight to the checkout page without having to visit the product page at all. And now the second method we'll be using is the AOV up product table right and with this method here we'll be listing our products in this table format and we'll actually disable all links to the product page so essentially they'll never be able to get to the product page unless they actually know the product page manually which is very unlikely so this is a solid method to use as well so I'll timestamp everything so you can skip ahead to the relevant section of this video okay so if you want to use the quick view plugin by AOV up it's free just head over to aovup.com and then just go ahead and download the quick view plugin as i said it's free and if you wanted to use a product table method then again you'll just head over to aovup.com and then just go ahead and download the product table plugin this one's actually paid but i'll leave both links in the description below and with that being said let's head over to our dashboard okay so assuming you've downloaded a relevant plugin you just want to go ahead and upload and install that plugin so we'll just go plugins add new upload and install the plugin once you've done so you'll see this we suite menu here go ahead and enter in your license key once you've done so it'll automatically redirect you to this add-on section okay and then from here we can go ahead and enable the product table plugin and i'm also going to enable the quick view plugin okay so i'm just going to click install here and then we'll just make sure we activate it okay Okay, so as I said, the first method we'll be going with is the quick view method. Okay, so let's just quickly view our shop page and just see how everything's looking currently. Okay, so this is our shop page. And since we've activated a quick view plugin, we can see it here. Okay, so if we quickly click on this option here, we can actually see our quick view plugin in action and we just want to configure it slightly. Okay, so I'm just going to X this off and then I'm going to head back over to the add ons page and I'm going to go ahead and click manage for our quick view plugin. Okay, so for the button text, we can rename this to whatever we want. I'm just going to leave it as quick view for now. We can customize the font styling for the button position. I'm going to show it um, below the price. Okay, so we can customize the background color and also the text color. We can add some padding to it. We can show the quick view icon button, which we're already displaying, so that's fine. Under general settings, we can enable the quick view option on mobile, where it says a product link here. We just wanna make sure we disable this option because we don't wanna encourage the customers to click over to the product page, okay? So we just make sure we have this disabled. Let's go image settings. For the image area, currently set to 40%, which is fine. Product image width, again, this is 100%. That's also fine. We can enable the product image gallery and we can show the product name as well. So let's just go ahead and hit save changes and then we'll double check our shop page again, okay? So now let's view our shop page. Now let's Let's go ahead and refresh this okay and here we can see our quick view option okay so this looks much better so straight away from here the customers can add this to cart or click buy so this buy button is actually powered by our all-in-one at checkout if you wanted to add a buy now button to your WooCommerce store so it essentially just takes the customers directly to the checkout page I'll leave a link on screen to a video showing you how to do just that again it's the all-in-one at checkout plugin by AOV up it's free to enable that option as well so let's just head back over to our shop page okay and if you wanted you can just remove these buttons here via CSS okay so this is a decent first method but as you can see the customers can still click on the product page however they do have the convenience to just order everything um, within the quick view pop-up okay so they do have that option now we'll just move on to the second method using the product table plugin by AOV up okay so I've already installed and got it activated so we're just going to go ahead and configure this particular plugin okay we'll head back over to our dashboard here okay and now we'll navigate over to WeSuite and then product table 
So now we'll create our first product table. So we'll just click add new table here and then we can just give this a name. I'm going to name mine um, main shop page because we're going to be using this particular product table as our main shop page. Okay. So now we'll just navigate over to order form information. And then this is just how we want to structure our product table. So for example, if I scroll down here, Okay, so the column refers to the section here. Okay, so for example, we've got the image column of the product. We've got the name column of the particular product, the description price and so on. Okay, so this is what we'll be building out now. So if we navigate back here, we can go ahead and add the product image, the product name. So we just drag and drop it onto this canvas here. We'll add a short description. We'll add um, the price. We'll add the add to cart button. Let's go ahead and add the quick view option as well, since we've got the quick view plugin enabled. So the customer can have best of both worlds. So if they want to view more detail, they can click the quick view button and then they'll be able to see everything in a pop-up format. Okay. So let's actually rename this section as well. So currently this says image. That's fine. We'll leave it as it is where it says name. We're going to change this to say product hit update and then we can just X this off. Okay. Price add to cart. That's fine. Let's add the category as well. So we'll add the product category. Okay. And we'll just rearrange it. Okay. So that looks fine. Image size. So a lot of these settings, I'm just going to skip over them. Okay. So the import important thing is here where it says product links, we're going to go ahead and select none. Okay. Cause we don't want under any circumstances that we actually link to the product page. Okay. So this way the customers won't ever be able to access the product page. Um, bulk add to cart. We'll click on this option here and we can enable the add to cart button and also a checkbox as well, just to speed up the ordering process for our customers. The add to cart behavior, we can enable the Ajax option, the quantities. We want to enable that as well. Very settings so here where it says link to the product page we're gonna remove this because we don't want to link customers over to the product page we're gonna just show it as a drop down or we can actually show the variation in a separate row okay so you can either choose um, show separate row or show the variation in a drop down format okay so I'm gonna do separate row for this example order form control a lot of these I'm just gonna leave as default Okay. And then finally for the performance settings, depending on how many products you've got on your store, maybe you want to cap the number of products per page. Okay. Well, here's where we'll add it. So maybe we just want to show maybe 15 products per page, for example. Okay. So let's just hit save changes. Okay. And then we'll navigate back to the general settings area. Okay. And this is the order form, which we've just created. Okay. So here where it says shop page, we can go ahead and select this product table, which we've created. We can do the same for the category page as well. And also for the tag page. Now we can just hit save changes. Okay. And now when we view our shop page, currently we've got this product table format. Okay. And as I said, you were not actually able to click on the product page. If we click the product image, we still can't see the product page, right? We've got this quick view option here still. So that's fine. Yeah. And the customers can just add this to their cart and then just go ahead and check out. Okay. And that's a quick and simple way to disable the product page on your WooCommerce store. As usual, if you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.